I've taken many canoe trips and high adventure trips with scouts over the years and uh, parents will say that's not the same kid I sent when they come back. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country. To obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Voyager's Area Council is a collection of uh, 130 units. We're scattered over 18 counties in northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and the UP of Michigan. Uh, with about 4,000 youth participating in four different programs. For many kids, this is the place where they can achieve, they can find their own voice, uh, they can grow into the kind of person that they imagined that they could be. I mean, without it, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be the same person who I am today. And it's more than just outdoors. People tend to think of the BSA as just a mostly outdoors thing. But there are life lessons all over the place just waiting to be found. Kids are looking for fun, they're looking for adventure, looking for a way to connect with their peers in a, in a unique way. So they come in and that's their goal. Many of them really enjoy the challenge of all kinds of things, the leadership challenge, the challenge of the outdoor activities, but it's not the reason they come in. I, I don't know of any kid that signed up for scouting uh, to have a course in character development, for instance, right? But adults uh, have, they see that, they see it in their communities, they see it in the kids they know who are involved in scouting or they have a history of being involved with scouting and they want their kids to have an experience with positive adult mentorship, with character development, uh, leadership skills development, and uh, just building those lifelong connections and friends that will last them for a lifetime. Push through? Good. We made it. I, I love watching the transformation of kids as they move through this program. And then you get them you know, on a couple of week-long camping trips and they come back and they're so much more independent. They know how to treat the you know, basic first aid. They know how to cook their own food. They know how to shop for their own food. They know what sanitation means for food preparation. They can survive on their own. They just become independent people. And then as they move further and learn how to, once they've mastered those skills and they start teaching them to younger scouts, that's when the real transformation starts to happen. Because all of a sudden you see real leadership skills, real strength of character in their part. I mean, it affects every person differently, but for me there's been so much learning about, yeah, a lot of character, a lot of how to be around people and um, how to relate to other people. My favorite part of Scouts, especially this week, is seeing a lot of young Scouts come here and to watch them grow, mature, and see them what, see their potential, what they could become in here at NYLT and even in their own troops. Uh, even though I do live in a rural part of Wisconsin and have the outdoors around me all the time, I do enjoy coming to actually going, like actually going camping, actually going canoeing, getting to do something I normally don't have a chance to do and just get away from the hectic life of school and work. I suppose it's the only place that I really feel peaceful. 
maybe. Like, I feel like I can get away from all the clutter and all the busyness. There was a trip a couple of years ago, we took a trip to the Bighorn Mountains and we summited Cloud Peak. And that was another one that just, it let me push my limits and see just how much I could do. And those things definitely stick out to me, those big trips. In the outdoors, you have to face the fact that you're not always gonna be comfortable. And so that translates to, to the civilized world, we'll call it. There are times where you're in an uncomfortable situation, it's awkward or something, but you learn to stick through it. The schools and our community really benefit from what we're doing. My hope is always that at some point we would be able to get every kid to do some part of scouting. That the learning and the development that we have in this, as the core of this program is uh, something we could share with just a bigger audience. Male, female, would just be amazing to me.